The emotional hurt scene right now is so bad that the littlest things are just sending me into a pile of tears. Welcome to life with a chronic illness. Anything can talk if you believe it can. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And it is 2.03 p.m. and it's the first time I'm picking up the camera. This may be a short vlog today. If so, I'll try to make sure there's at least something of substance. But as you can see, I'm in my pajamas. I'm on my wedge pillow, but only because I have to beat around my feeds. I did my antibiotics and antimalarials this morning. And um, I'm worn out. Uh, my... Like I mentioned in a video sometime recently, my ferritin level keeps dropping and it's already well below the lowest number it should be. And it keeps getting worse with each weekly check of it, so hopefully I'll be getting an iron infusion when we're in D.C. in a couple weeks. Right now I'm just trying to get through as best I can. I got out of pajamas that were dirty from sleeping in them into a new pair of pajamas tonight. Um... You see me usually wear these or the navy ones of these. I have two navy pairs and I have this light blue pair. And eventually I'm going to need a second light blue pair just because it's always consistently something that I can handle on my skin. And Roger always makes sure that at least one pair is clean for me. And that means he's been doing a lot of laundry, but um, I really appreciate it because it's another day where, like, all I want to do is cry. Like, I'm not going to cry on camera right now because there's no nothing to cry about. It's just, um, I'm, I'm emotionally herxing, so. There was a little instance earlier where Roger said, Hey, um, make sure you're checking every so often to make sure you're not getting feeding tube stains from your stoma on your clothes. And, um, or actually he thought it was the formula staining it. And I said, oh no, what shirt got a stain? Because I purposely wear gauze around it. And this is something that... You know, it's a shirt, but again, shirts that are actually comfortable and that I can actually wear are a rare commodity for me, so I was very upset that this brand new shirt that we would gotten that was actually comfortable had gotten stained, and he said there was about the size of a quarter on it. And I'm very frustrated because the last two button exchange that I had, I went ahead and had the uh, person that was doing it use the silver nitrate to burn off the granulation tissue um, in hopes that it would at least take a little while to come back. But it is now back and worse than it was before I had her do it. So I think I'm going to stick to my guns next time and not have it done because it's like bleeding and everything. So even though I have gauze around the button, the, the gastric juices and the blood from the, sorry for the graphicness, but that's what it is, and the blood that comes from the granulation tissue and just everything like that soaks through the gauze and then gets on my clothes. So I guess I just need to change my gauze more often and be more diligent about that. I change it a couple times a day, but I guess I need to do it every couple hours or something just to be safe. But the point being, that's something that normally would just upset someone but it wouldn't make them cry and I was in tears and like shaking because the emotional hurt scene right now is so bad that the littlest things are just sending me into a pile of tears. Even thinking about it right now and thinking about, well I can't think about how I feel physically because if I do that then I just feel the hurt. So I'm going to turn the camera off now and we'll talk to you guys sometime later. Somebody, two houses around the corner, <laughs> and it's using a wood chipper. <laughs> I didn't think this was going to be my afternoon. I was supposed to get rain, and once again, we didn't get rain. <laughs> I never thought I'd wish for rain because of the headaches, but I hate this outside noise. I wish it would rain all summer long. <laughs> I'm going to try to make it out. <laughs> so much but dealing with anxiety too so please wait <laughs>
Oh, I'm gonna try. I took stuff and we're gonna try to do it. I'll see you guys out there, baby. Welcome to life with a chronic illness that affects you physically, emotionally, um, on the very most basic cellular level, all its ups, downs, and all the tears. You see the tears are gone right now. Sorry you had to witness that earlier, but like I said before, I like to show reality. Oh, that thing, you just got really loud again outside. Did it change outside? What is that noise? Oh, it's my feeding tube flush. It scared me, and I couldn't tell what it was because I finally found my earplugs, put them in. You can see I made it out here onto the couch, and the sound with several walls in between and plus with my earplugs, and then with the TV on, is, is locking it out pretty well. I told Roger most of what I'm hearing, like, I can hear him talk. I can hear the TV. Um, I have it turned down right now so I can film, but... Most of what I'm hearing is my own voice or my own breathing, which is good because that helps kind of ground me and center me. And it's not like the same like setting off my sound sensitivities type of sound. So that's awesome. What I was trying to say earlier is the choice was be in there in major pain or come out here and have a panic attack. And it took a while, but I finally was able to take some of my medication for um, you know, anxiety and panic attacks and then I just did some deep breathing and um, finally made my way out here with sans panic attacks so that was a success but that was what I was trying to get across when I was talking in tears earlier the good news is I'm out here I'm not hearing it as much right now thanks for joining us in all the times. So, we have our favorite guest star on. Do you see Roger featuring? She's down there. No. Well, oh, yeah, Lucy's our favorite, but the one that is around all the time. I'm looking right at him. Paper towels? Yeah. Because oh. you always say that featuring paper towels. <laughs> oh, I, I yeah. forgot about that. Yep. Sorry, I ruined it. That's okay. Sorry, paper towels. Mostly <laughs> to you. <laughs> okay, you can go with paper towels. We don't talk to you right now. Paper towels can't talk. Anyway, anything can talk if you believe it can. Anyway, uh-oh, battery's blinking. Um, we just finished watching Big Brother, and then we turned it on to watch the rest of an episode of Guys Grocery Games, Triple G. I finished my IVs for the night. I'm feeling very nauseated. But, uh, yeah, other than that, it's just been a rest day. I mean, you, you guys have seen it. Other than the screaming, crying episode because of the wood chipper. Yeah, it, it's been, you know... This is chronic illness. Like I said earlier, this is life with chronic illness, and this is sometimes what it is. So you just got to choose joy when you can and do whatever you got to do to make it through. That's all you can really do. And we will see you guys in the next video. Good night.